Hey guys, over the past few days I've been playing Hell Let Loose, a fairly realistic World War II shooter and I have to say I've been having a blast. This is a very serious game which can be pretty intimidating. There's no kill feed, no way of knowing if you hit someone or not, or knowing how many bullets you have left and no health bars. However, Hell Let Loose straddles a very fine line between simulation and traditional first person shooters. Shooting feels very similar to other shooters, sacrificing some realism to make the game more dynamic and easier to play. Weapon sway is fairly minimal and you can aim down sights very quickly. There are no stamina bars to restrict your movement, meaning that you can sprint as long as you want, and overall the game is designed to get you into the action fairly quickly. I played this back when it released in June last year and I didn't enjoy it very much, mostly because many players like me didn't really know what they were doing. There was very little coordination and things seemed to be very random and chaotic. But since then, things have changed and I'm having some of the best gaming experiences that I've had in quite some time. What's changed is really the player communication and knowledge. Unlike most games where you can just do your own thing and support the team by either playing really well or taking objectives, Hell Let Loose demands that you play specific roles within your squad. So your ability to do that as well as your teammates is the key factor here. I would even go as far as saying that teamwork is more of a focus in this game than the simulation aspect. You really do need to play with headphones and a microphone to get any real enjoyment out of this. If you have a bad squad leader, your entire experience can devolve into running across a forest for 5 minutes, dying all of a sudden and having to respawn and do it all over again with a virtual guarantee of having the exact same thing happen again. If you find a good squad though, things are quite different. Every squad member fulfills a different role. There's the officer who acts as a squad leader and is in charge of handling communication with the team commander, other squad leaders, issuing commands and setting down spawn points. The medic is the only one that can revive players that don't get headshotted or blown up, which allows your squad to remain active for much longer periods of time. There's a heavy machine gunner, rifleman and assault classes, each with their own loadouts and weapons. And, you know, I won't go into detail into every soldier class, but your squad mates need to adapt to the situation and change roles accordingly. An engineer is able to build barbed wire to defend a position, but only if the support player lays down a stack of supplies first, so everything requires some degree of coordination and cooperation. And the community that I found so far in this game has been incredible. When things click, when you find a good squad to play with, you start to trust and rely on them, and it's really something else. They can provide cover fire when you need to move and spot enemies for your machine gunner to mow down. The support player asks the engineer if he needs more supplies for his constructions, and the squad officer tells you to hunker down or move up to the next position. Suddenly, for that brief hour that you're playing with your squad mates, Hell Let's Loose starts to feel like a miniature version of Band of Brothers. Now, this is probably true for most games that require this level of teamwork, but unlike games like Battlefield or Call of Duty where I'm playing to win, I find myself playing Hell Let Loose with cooperation as my main objective. What matters most to me is trying to find a good squad leader and doing my best to help. Getting kills or not is completely secondary to the experience. I still try to play as good as I possibly can, of course, but I played an entire match as a medic where I was basically reviving people non-stop and that is just as helpful as fragging enemy players, building defensive structures or providing good artillery fire. Maps are incredibly well designed and offer a wide variety of different engagements. Fighting through the countryside, through a small town or in a mountainous forest requires completely different tactics which helps keep the game fresh. As you advance through enemy lines taking control of their territory, maps can change pretty significantly, with some points being much harder to defend or attack than others, and that also mixes up the experience quite a bit. 
Back in the day, I used to play Forgotten Hope quite a bit, which, in case you don't know, was a mod for Battlefield 2 and Battlefield 1942, and it had a very similar feel to this game. More realistic than regular Battlefield, but not to the point that you need to read a book to play it. Fast paced, but not to the point of complete chaos. Hell Let's Loose strikes a very similar balance. If you're looking for something to play to replace the disappointment of Battlefield 5, this won't get you all the way there, but it does check a lot of those boxes. There are not nearly as many vehicles, tanks are way harder to control, and there are no airplanes, but overall the combat experience feels really good and this is really a ton of fun to play either with friends or with just random people that happen to have their microphone and are using it. In two days, this will be getting a major update that includes a new map, new weapon ballistics and upgrades to existing maps, so now is really a great time to jump into it. It's $30 right now, so it's relatively cheap. There have been some sales that have put it at, I believe, $24 or $25, so not, you know, too much of a discount. So yeah, just if you're interested, I really, really recommend it. Okay guys, that will be all for now. I might be doing a beginner's guide to this game because, you know, it's not that easy to get into and there are some things that you really have to learn that the tutorial and other online forums and guides and stuff don't really get into. So yeah, I might do a guide on it. Okay, if you enjoyed watching, please subscribe and as always, I will catch you in the next one.